Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem A from the latest code forces round 684 problem name by the string. So you are given 4 integers n, c0, c1, n, h and a binary string s of length n. Okay, so now a binary string consists of the character 0 and 1 only. So you all know that. You can change any character of that string. Okay, the string should be still a binary string. So you cannot convert, so you can only convert a 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. And for every conversion, you have to pay H coins. So you are given some string and now you can flip. You can assume that you can flip any position or any character in that string by paying H coins. And after doing those changes, what you have to do here is you have to buy the new string or the string. If you don't do any operation, it's also fine, but you can do some operations and then you have to buy that string. To buy that string, you have to buy every character of that string and every character has some cost. If you want to buy, all the zero characters you have to pay c0 coins for every one zero character and to buy character one you you have to pop like pay c1 coins so now you have to find out the minimum number of coins you need to buy the string okay so now first you have to see that the constraints are relatively small they are not too big the second thing you have to see is how the uh, like how this test case is working so now as you can see in the second test case you are given this string and now if you flip the second and the fourth symbol which is like this one and like this is one and one if you flip that it will become all zeros so now to buy a scatter of zero you have to pay 10 rupees like you can assume 10 rupees or 10 dollars whatever you want so now the total cost you will pay to buy this string is 5 into 10 but you also have done two flips so you have to also pay for those two flips and for, for every flip you have to pay two dollars so two plus because you have done two for every flip you have to play one so two flips so two plus 50 is equal to 52 so now that's the whole question now how to do that the first thing or the first intuition which come to my mind is first think over all the possibilities the f all the possibilities means that if i have some zeros and i if i have some ones what are the possibilities i can convert my one like i can flip one to zero so like let's assume that i have five ones i can draw it out let's assume that i have five ones and now what are my options my options is i can convert nothing to zero so i can easily calculate the cost for this like what is the cost i can count out how many ones are there in this string in the initial and thus like i know that the number of ones is equal to five and the number of zeros is equal to zero okay now i have option is okay i can buy all the ones in this state only and zero zeros so the total cost will be five into c1 and zero into c0 now i can convert one of those ones to zero or i can convert two of those ones to zero so if i convert one of those ones i can easily just reduce this by one it will become four and increase this by one i can also do the one more time which is like convert take two because the position it doesn't matter you just have to count out how many ones are there after doing this operation so if i like flip two like total number of uh, if i flip two ones the total number of zeros i will be having is two and total number of ones i will be having is three and i have done two flips so i can easily count out how many operations i have done which is two and that's the whole, whole logic you can just easily count out how many ones and how many zeros are there and then iteratively find out like if i flip one zero to one if I convert only two zeros because it is only beneficial to convert all zeros or one all zeros means that I it, it is not beneficial to convert some zeros to one and some ones to zeros because there is only one possible scenario in which whether converting to one is beneficial or converting to zero is beneficial converting like doing both is not beneficial so you just have to iterate over all the possibilities and then that's all, all like answer I'll get on to the code part now to even make it more clear so that's the whole code in which uh, take the input of n, c0, c1 and h. This is a string. Take the input of all of them. Zeros and ones. Count out how many zeros and ones are there in the original string. And found like because you know the total number of zeros and ones, you can easily find out that initial cost. So if you don't do any operation, the initial cost for that to buy that string is because you're not doing any operations, the total cost is 0 into c0 plus 1 into c1 because you will buy all the one characters by this cost and zeros character by this cost. Now, now the second operation is you can convert some zeros to one 
So now how many zeros you can convert at max? You can convert minimum of one zeros and at max of how many zeros you have. So how many zeros have you have is zeros and how many like minimum is one. So from one to zero, you will do an like loop. And what you will do, you will find out the other cost. Like if you do this operation, what is the other cost? The other cost is you have done like I time operation. So the total cost will increase by I into H plus you have converted one zero to one. So now the count of one will increase by I amount. So the new value of one is one plus I into C1 and the zero will be zero minus I into C0 because you are like, I, as I've told you, you have to increment the count of one and decrement the count of zero and find out the minimum over all the cases and then do the same for ones. And then the answer is minimum among all the following cases. And that's the whole logic for this problem. I hope you get the intuition and the logic and the code as well. If you still have any doubts, mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Keep coding. Bye.